Yeah, I'm really confused on where any of these heroes are going for both teams. Like, we have Doom Broodmother on one side, so it's like, one of these aren't going to be the offlaner. And then there's a Ricky mm -hmm. and Invoker, so it's like... Like, one of these heroes has to be the support. We've seen Ricky as a support more often than any of these other ones, but we could also see, like, a Doom 5 or something come back, which is something we used to see, especially since there's already a Broodmother in the game. It could be a Doom 4. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's super bizarre. I'm like very confused with like where these drafts are going. Ten seconds. Yeah, uh, I think Doom is too good on the three. Five seconds to go into some Four, of these other positions uh, you're talking about. Like, so then where does the Brood go? All right, oh, nice. Dyer gets the ban into the garbage. <laughs> need this hero. I mean, could it be Brood mid? Is that the idea? They're taking Brood mid, maybe oh, assuming it's a Tusk mid. Invoker though, you have an Invoker. But that's where I'm trying to figure. Do you go for Invoker? Four brood. It's RCY. It has to be Invoker. Like it's his. It's his hero. It's definitely Invoker mid. I know that. Dude, I bet you if I messaged one of the players exactly. right now and asked them, <laughs> tell I bet you if I messaged Skyward going. right now, he would he would tell me. He seems like the kind of person that would tell me mid trap. But I think that I'm not allowed to do that while I'm casting. I'm guessing Message Skyward just wants to like clown town, and he's like, "Give me Ricky, guys. It'll be fun." And he would probably do it for the memes. Yeah, he seems like the kind of time. yeah. He's definitely the person who would do it for the memes. He'd also tell me for the memes because he realized the other team would hear them. But I would get myself in trouble, and I know better than that. Even yes. though Nina's gone, Badger would report me to Dougie. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. you do not want to be reported to Dougie. <laughs> Dougie would probably laugh, but then Blaze might hear about it, and you don't want to be reported to Blaze. We're starting in five seconds, with or without. Huh? Anyways, but, uh, I'm distracted. Now we're talking about admins. People don't care about admins. They care about players. They care about the game. Okay? Uh, they care about the Bat Rider and the Kunkka being banned out. No cool Tidal Waves plays this time. They care about the, the Void being banned out. No cool Arcana this time. They also get rid of... The Cataclysm combo? Yeah, that might be the real reason they get rid yeah. of the Faceless Void. I'm like, they get rid I of the thought we were done with combo, actually analyzing but... it. No, it's fine. Ten seconds left. The Hoodwink is interesting, though. They literally are in the same situation that I am. Of like, I have no idea where any of these heroes are going. But I feel like they need a safe lane carry more than anything. But you could always just run a one-position Ricky and have like a 10% chance to win? You think it's a one Ricky? I, I, that's the thing. I have no idea. I think it, this hero can't be played as a core, and he's like what barely playable build? as a support. What even build on one Ricky? Uh, Battle Fury into Aghanim Scepter into BKB. So you have to farm like 13,000 gold worth of items before you can actually contribute. Well, your damage is agility based now, and they made it even harder to do damage unless you have agility because of how they changed uh, tricks of the trade around. And there's no good agility items anymore because they nerfed the agility Diffusal Blade gives you. The fun part about Ricky is when you like just get a butterfly eventually and you just sit inside smoke screen and no one can hit you with spells. No. Okay, Bloodseeker, eh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looks like it, don't you know? <laughs> uh, See, I can say I mean, it because I'm also Canadian. You're not Canadian. Yeah, I am. I've, I'm, you're not. Okay. I'm going to go get my Canadian citizenship like this weekend just to prove seconds, it to you. With without. I have seen your passport. I know, but I, I, I can literally get a Canadian citizenship at any time. I just haven't done it. <laughs> That's <Correct>. not legal. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> my, my family born from Canada, dude. Come on. Of course I can. <laughs> According to who? <laughs> the Canadian government. I'm uh, telling the government that you're making a fake ID. Anyways, okay. um... You know, 24 seconds of reserve time left. Remember now, snitches get stitches, too. Just saying. The, they can grab anything here. It's probably Tusk mid. They probably need an offlaner unless they want to run the Dawnbreaker is the offlaner. Uh, it has to be Dawnbreaker really good. 3, I would imagine. With Wind Ranger, really sounds really good. Line. So it is going to be Tusk mid, Sven safe lane. Yeah. Yeah. Baz, Kitaro, okay. We, we have the Disruptor. That'll at least make it kind of easy to catch uh, this Broodmother. Skyward's going to be playing this one. So it is a it is a five-position Doom and a four-position Ricky. Yeah, that's Yarin on uh, that one. Bloody Nine on uh, the Doom. The Captain himself. I mean, I... Invoker. 
I will Go say ahead. you have a five core lineup on the side of Dog Champ if this goes late. That is true. Uh, but you're also you playing against heroes like Tusk and Sven and Dawnbreaker cores who don't play slow. So, yeah. Actually, Windraker's not fun to play against once it scales into a core in the late game either. And that hero does a lot of damage. Hmm. Neff, I'm going to need you to break down this draft a little bit. Which one do you feel has the advantage? Um, huh. I'm going with Infamous here, man. Yeah, I, a, I, I, I like that. I think you have an amazing catch uh, with Disruptor and Tusk. Uh, you have good scaling in the late game with Gitaro. You can have reasonable time to, to farm. They don't have a Nyx Assassin or a Silencer in order to, to interrupt the Dawnbreaker ultimate coming in and assisting. Um, yeah, it's hard to get on some of these heroes, too. Like, Windraider is not easy to get your hands on. Uh, amazing disables on that. Uh, Sleeden has popped off in the hero in the past, so I'm going to go with them. Dog Champ, I mean, they have these stand-ins, but these stand-ins are people that they use regularly. Skyward they've used before. Uh, he's also been their manager in past seasons. He's going to have good synergy with the team. Um, however, I don't think he's going to have as much synergy as Infamous. Yeah. I feel like Infamous's lineup is just like a regular do-good lineup. And I just don't see... The inevitable? My... Hey, I love that. The those are... Those are uh, what is that? Uh, that's my follow that's sound when on my stream. What was it? The Why Prolong the Inevitable. Uh oh. All my, all my alerts are Ricky voice lines. Um, I think Yaren is a little confused on what's happening since he is playing a support to Ricky here, but we'll see. Because uh, the voice lines are... Because oh, he's just spamming he's... good game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is he doing that? Misclick, right? No, he's it's in team chat only. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll see. Hmm. Skyward is that... Oh, Skyward is Grandmaster... Oh, look, he's got Neff Best Caster on his name. Wow. <laughs> Eat shit, Ricky. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I knew I hated this guy anyway. <laughs> Let's go Skyward. 30 seconds. My favorite player. I think Dog Champ easily have this game. Let me mm. break down to you uh, the Skyward difference, if you would. Oh, please do. Uh, the man starts a Wraith Band in his lane because he knows he's going to be trading uh, auto attack to the spend. He's doing mostly physical damage. He's also going to reduce the damage he takes from Cleave. Just high armor bonus at the beginning. Uh, just like Skyward has very high intelligence for appreciating a good caster. Mm. Mm -hmm. Remember the name of the game here. Is I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment. There is B9 actually gets caught out in the river. Nice shards from Sabas as they continue the chase. Power shot connects, but Doom, pretty tanky nowadays, so he's gonna be able to make it back to the tower. But uh, he's got coming. Not much left, so he's gonna be walking back to top lane, low on resources, or at least low on HP. He's gonna send himself out of cell right away. Is that uh, two, two on ruins? Go... Yeah, it was. Yeah. You kind of sucks you had to go scorched earth level one on the uh, support dude. Maybe he would have gone there anyways, but getting uh, devoured and being able to harass enemies with a creep and get yourself a little bit of gold always feels good. But doesn't get to do that now. Very unlucky. I'm going to be very excited to see what this uh, four position Ricky contributes to this broodmother lane. They picked your favorite hero. Can't you be happy like I am with Skyward putting that in his name? Pudge is my favorite hero, but Ricky is up there. Almost, almost in the top three. Actually, I'd say Ricky's in the top three. Yeah, he's, he's like number two. I kind of just forget he exists, though. So, in terms of the lanes, uh, let's talk about mid. We've got Sabas on Tusk up against Destroyers and Voker, which, if there's anything we learned about Destroyer, he's one of the best up-and-coming mid laners, bar none. Like, he looks so good on almost every hero he plays. Uh, his Invoker is considered to be pretty much God tier. Uh, his Tinker the is... The Sammy Boy tier, uh, seal of approval, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, his... Uh... Ooh, nice deny onto his own Forge Spirit. That would have been a really rough one to give up that early in the lane. Mm -hmm. But these guys were cut out for him. Tusk is a very strong laning hero. Agreed. Now, Invoker looks like... Uh... He's going to be playing against Tusky, just uh, leveling up his nukes inside the lane. That's basically what we see out of the mid laners. 
Um, oh, that's uh, unfortunate. I thought I'd be able to get a little bit of harass in with that one. You hate to see it. Anyways, uh, when we see him play against things like uh, Zeus in the mid lane or uh, like spirit heroes, uh, sorry, void spirit and be specific, or Puck for that matter, um, all these heroes that have the ability to like jump out of the ice shards, yeah. we always see him just completely ignore tag team. Because you're never going to be able to get it off on people. So instead, you go for a snowball and ice shards to be able to harass the mid laner and secure yourself CS. Um, but Invoker doesn't have those escape abilities, and he's gone for these nukes anyways. Yeah, I think it, it's like t the Tusk in the mid lane has to be able to farm. And that's kind of where this hero's farming ability comes from, is the snowball ice shard spam. It, it is a lot of burst damage as well. Once you get to like level seven, um, you can actually like find kills on Oh, you see that? Ooh. You're talking about the, the top the lane? Did? No. Oh, no, I'm watching uh, top lane. Oscar falling incredibly low, and that's gonna be first blood for double king. Slayton off the mark with the power shot there as B9 able to sidestep it. Uh, they might get two kills here. That's gonna connect on the blood right, and they do. Doom picks them up, and bottom lane, Skyward goes down. I would say I'm surprised, Neff, but I'm not. Yeah, you know, there's a little strategy called fattening up uh, the pigs for the slaughter. You know, he feeds them a little bit of gold, builds their hopes up, and then just kills them later so they're worth mm. more money. Yeah, and to make the game a little bit more chill. I'm sorry, Neff, you want to <laughs> just continue the sentence. Yes, please. Truly, Skyward is a Neff gamer. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> <laughs> please continue. Oh, you hate to see it. You really do. Sometimes you forget you're playing against the Disruptor. You get glimpsed back to the Fountain. Yarin now dies uh, in just a couple more auto attacks here. And they are indeed fattening up the Sven, Neff. I, I will say, you are correct about that. This Sven is getting a lot of food to eat. And Catchy suicides to a neutral creep in order to respawn. Come back with full HP and mana. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. He didn't have any regen on him at the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, on another topic, there was a sick play this Invoker made earlier. Oh, he yeah. getting caught behind, underneath the tower, Ice Shard blocked off. He resummoned the Forge Spear just before the tower was going to aggro onto him, and it tanked up two of the tower shots that he would have hit. Ooh, so, that's nice. That's a cheeky little yeah, play. Yeah, there. it was... Uh, Destroyer's a gamer, sick. man. He's very good. Yeah. yeah, very sick, pleasant distraction from uh, what's going on in the bottom lane. Man, it's uh, no longer anything that we need to talk or worry about. Of course. Double King's farm is looking pretty good as well. Yeah, Double King's having a great time, Top. I mean, they got first blood. They're able to get the second kill there as well. Uh, Oscar, a lot of damage coming back towards B9. Power Shot does connect as well, but Doom's pretty quick here with that Scorched Earth, so he's going to be able to just walk away. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to be sitting pretty low on health now. One thing we didn't really talk about was the change to the the flag bearer creep, I suppose. Ten more gold uh, for each uh, hero in the vicinity of it, which is pretty big. B9 yeah. in That's some trouble. To... Yeah, he's going to get ticked down there. 182 more gold for Oscar, am I right? Yeah. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah. Unlucky, but not surprised that uh, Slain's line up these uh, shackles. This is a very high damage lane, and uh, we also have girl power up here. That is true. Oh, beautiful shackle. They actually don't connect on the Starbreaker there, but Double King still taking a lot of damage from these two. And B9 is coming up here and trying to uh, assert some pressure himself, so Double King can try and get some denies, and it's actually working. Slayton has got to be very careful here. He's got the yeah, wind run, make a little bit of space. Double King's like, bro, let me get the denies. <laughs> Please, I need to heal. I'm begging you. Bottom lane. Guy we're getting on him again. Tries to stay in his ground. Goes in the cat. You is just like attempting to lifesteal himself back up. And it's going to work by God. Get that man. Yeah, yes. nicely done. Yeah, early orb of corrosion pickup. Very sick. Skyward, my man. I told you. He'd win this lane from the start. Incredible player. <laughs> what an absolute gamer two points in the insatiable hunger he doesn't go wedge he doesn't go silk and bow that's for people who run away he's fighting right into them with the insatiable hunger okay yeah the two points insatiable hunger i think he didn't actually Rare. factor he did not expect that to be the case at all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. look at that life deal 60 percent incredible a long duration as well that's the other thing the duration actually is good like insatiable hunger is actually such a ridiculous ability but we kind of just forget about it because the rest of Broodmother is also so very strong. 
Do and it pulled in. Insatiable hunger, hunger comes out. Couple auto attacks. And there's Sabas here on the Tusk to do some work. Walrus punch to hold the Doom into place. He does get the net. There's going to be a Sun Strike connecting onto Kataro, but he's got the God Strength running, and Doom's going to be the one that picks him up. And now. Uh, they've got the Thirst Vision, but they don't have much to... They have no more spells, really. They're going to have to back out on Sebastian. Is he's just going to get a Salve tossed over and a TP back to the mid lane. A uh, half-effect Salve, uh, not very cool, if you ask me. Thank you. Cat, you got that one. It's because he was uh, a Tusk and he got ice-based spells. Anyways, Invoker's now working on uh, his Midas. Only uh, 400 gold off right now. Yeah. He's off to a decent start. Sunstrike not Bottom surprising. definitely helped. Yeah. Uh, he only got a cis gold for that, but it's something. Yeah. And that's, oh, doesn't have the man to go in on that one. I mean, he could have popped the magic one and it's like hard commit, but he's just looking to secure himself some CS. Destroyer's Actually, did a really good job at now. runes. Oh, yeah, he's got Cat you coming. Okay. I mean, this is just the threat of Tusk. This hero does it's just so much damage this early and. Gets the kill. Yeah, eventually, he gets commits the, the ice wall, but yeah. it ends up being way too late. Gets the fire uh, spirit as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that took him by surprise. I mean, he was not walking away from him thanks to the Tusk having those boots. Uh, but a lot of damage he's putting in on that invoke. <laughs> Things slow down for a moment. It looks like uh, both supports trying to sap some XP from the mid lane, get closer to their level 6. B9s. Ooh, Destroyer oh. is going to get the Glimpse treatment. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, your game is over now. So I've seen people just straight up abandon after they've had that done to them. Mentally weak is what they are. Yeah. yeah. I would never an abandon a game. I would buy a Shadow Amulet, uh, try to go AFK, realize the Shadow Amulet only lasts 10 seconds, and then curse Gabe. Yeah, true. Engagement on the mid lane now. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Me nine. Oh, Sun Strike's on the mark. Oh, the save from the Dawnbreaker. Is it enough to actually just barely keep him aligned? Yarin, he's got tricks, but he's not using it. Oh, it's because it doesn't do any damage. Wow. Now Tusk able to turn this one around. They take down the Doom. Another Blink Strike on forward that also does no damage. Man, All this right. hero's... We've got a Sun Strike up in... A couple seconds. It's do you think going he's to gonna not hit? do enough damage to kill him, though. Oh, he got also, a it doesn't hit. Well, <laughs> all right, dude. That is gonna like really confuse me because every time I hear it, I like out of habit, uh, like look to my left to see like who <laughs> followed. <laughs> Oh, the Ricky wow. Boy slide is killing me. Has 0223. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. Don't look now, but well, Aiden uh, snatches the Radiant double damage and walks that away Radiant from a B9 there, who has not hit his level 6 yet. Yeah. Soon, though. Soon, I'm sure. After he gets his Observer Ward, he'll have it. Dude, Oscar is owning on this offlane Dawnbreaker. Level 7 now. Kind of just chilling. Don't look now, but the big question is going to be what the item build is, because his Falcon Blade is currently not able to be delivered. His Courier is dead. Double King's actually going to head bottom now that uh, Skyward's taking down the tower. Which he actually went for double Wraith Band, Orb of Corrosion. Huh. Yeah, very interesting. Not a, not a build we see all that often. On the, sorry, the Ooh, yeah, Yarn yeah, yeah. caught by a shackle, and just like that, Ricky goes down. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, maybe he thought this would just help him trade with the enemies a little bit easier, but they've now abandoned this lane. He's probably wishing he could. nice kill. Yeah, they get Sebastian the doom, but Sabas is in so much, so much hurt there. Jumping on the Dawnbreaker, this is gonna actually kill. Yeah, that's gonna easily kill Destroyers. Double Kings to be able to run away here. No yeah. glimpse coming through from Cat. You just not barely uh, in range. Uh, like you were saying, though, uh, the Broodmother. Weird item build. Uh, you can feel this affecting uh, Skyward right now, not having the Soul Ring completed yet. He is just struggling to be topped up on mana. Top tower just got yeah. So he's like sent fearing himself out clarities and whatnot. Uh, I do like the over corrosion, but going two Wraith Bands might have been a little bit much. 
We did help recover the lane a bit though. Uh, with the two points of insatiable hunger, then trading with them, he definitely could just like man up instead of having to play super scared. In top lane, Yarn's trying to farm up his uh, item shard. He's already got the money actually. He doesn't need to farm anymore. This is the only item you need on support, Ricky. You build this and then you try to be useful to maybe get a couple other things. Yeah. We'll see what he's able to make do with it. I, I haven't been very impressed with the hero, to be honest, but I'm, like I said, always hoping to see uh, a little... I'm always happy to see this hero actually do well. It's, it's just, you know, hasn't really seen that happen. That being said, the supports on Infamous are so poor right now. Well, they kind of do be, huh? Yeah, Slayton has One almost nothing. Six net worth. I mean, it's expected that Doom's going to have some net worth just because he has, like, that single point in Devour that's going to just be giving him some, like, gold, you know, passively, but... Denied. Bottom lane. Uh, I would try to turn on to Subass there. Uh, realize that he has made a grave error. Yeah, he's uh, stuck inside. But look at uh, how much they have to commit for him. Wait. And he's going to... No way does it take it out. This is the best Dota player that's ever lived. It is! Dude. Skyward escapes. Oh my god. I cannot Incredible. believe that. They it's only level one kinetic field, so it only it just like hardly lasted at all. He held the static storm for like pretty long, didn't thinking they would need it. Well Mid -lane. calculated skyward. And they're going in on to destroyer. The Dawnbreaker join in the fray. That's gonna easily pick him off. Yarin just goes in to try and maybe help him with a uh, smoke screen, but gets the blink strike away mm -hmm. just barely. He'll be okay. Dodges the dust as well. It's uh, damage to Slayton's economy right there. Not bad. And uh, now we're B9 and Double King rotating. We're going to try to punish them for going for this mid tower. Uh, the question is how they actually hold them in place for the blood right. Or fight them at all when Broodmother's TP is on cooldown so isn't coming and Invoker is dead. Oh, They'll still up the Disruptor. Out. They got Disruptor. I mean... I feel like you'd want your Doom onto a better hero here, but you just traded your 5 for your 1. And Yaren falling incredibly low as well. Gets the blink away for now, but... On to B9 they go. On the Doom, just taking a ton of damage. Destroyer on the backside in trouble as well as the tag team from the Tusk doing work. Even Yaren almost dying in the process, but a nice deafening blast. But Sabas continuing the chase. He's got shards in 1. He's going to be able to grab 1. Can he get the other? They Ooh. do. They snipe him with the hammer. Four heroes dead in the mid lane. Skyward might get to... bottom tier. No, it's still pretty healthy. They're actually TPing in. But... A lot of heroes in. All right, Sabas will just clean up the, the spiders there. And they do end up finishing the tier one tower mid. You can tell Dyer's so they lose a lot. The they gain very little. The tower down to 1500 HP. But uh, other than that, they're oh, doing just B9. fine. That is unlucky. Oh, they ended up missing the hammer, so they will not be getting that kill. Nah. I was surprised to see them try to go for that mid play. I, I mean, like maybe they find one here and then get out. But the disruptor, whose uh, static storm is on cooldown anyways, I don't think that was the target. Especially after you lose Bloodseeker for it. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, speaking of, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring your attention back to what you were talking about earlier, fattening up heroes. This Sven, quite fat enough. He's looking festively plump, but, you know, we are getting pretty close to December here. Normal mm -hmm. for them to chunk up during the winter. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, he actually is going to try and give vision for B9. They, I mean, they have the Disruptor here, and Slayton's going to find Ricky potentially. I actually don't have detection for him. Well, got you. They're going to try to jump on him. It's going to be a sun strike. strike into the smoke screen, but they have Static Storm and Kinetic Field, and there it is. Both supports smashed by the Dawnbreaker. Yeah, the hammer onto two, and they waste no time uh, rotating the tusk down to the bottom lane as that's happening. So, just when Skyward thinks it's going to be safe. Oh, he actually misses the shards. Okay. They smoke up here on the side of Infamous as they want to try and find Destroyer, but he's backed off now. I know he's got to be somewhere. I think they just barely saw him on the ward. They did. So, Slayton is here. Jumps forward. He's not going to be able to get the shackle from that angle. Does connect with the Dusk, and that sets up the Glimpse, which 
you can easily find the kill from there. Doom does come out from Bloody Nine onto Oscar as he's got to try and get away. Skyward's going to be able to TP on in with the Insatiable Hunger, do a decent chunk of damage here, and they will find that kill. Slayton now has to retreat, pops that Wind Run. Trying to get away here, but the slows are enough for the moment. Glimpse is going to send someone super far away. I don't know. Wait. They got being, they got Double King. Dude. All right. They're chilling. Yarn's got the shard, of course. Sabas is looking for his target, and they have found the spider. The walrus punch is there. A couple of auto attacks from the Sven. Easy enough to pick him up. And another dagger going to put Sven to sleep as B9 has to be very careful now. And uh, Invoker has no interest in rejoining this fight. He's going to head up to the top lane, farm that one out. Uh, this engagement's gone on a little bit too long for their liking. I mean, this gets easier if you have uh, a couple items on the Dog Champ heroes, but they keep on getting on top of the Invoker, blowing him up, but all he has to his name is a Midas. All Bloodseeker has is this Maelstrom. Like, they're not oh, ready to fight my into goodness. them yet. That's such a dirty play. Cat, you like glimpses B9 as he's about to place the ward. <laughs> he places the ward and gets instantly destroyed since you can't deny it now. Well, Walrus Punch out from Sabas. Takes down B9 there with the help of a power shot from Sladen. Mm -hmm. And he has a gem actually on the tusk now. I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, they have a complete map control right now. There's really no reason for them not just uh, to buy this, especially given that you're playing against uh, Invoker and Ricky. Ghost walking permanent visibility to deal with. I mean, yeah, Ricky only has a thousand HP. This hero is a, a guaranteed kill by Tusk every single time he sees him. Unlucky. <laughs> and he sees him. Oh, he thought about well, it. He definitely uh, thought about it. He did. Need the D ward off now. I think that uh, the gem. Oscar inside the Roche pit. Looks like uh, Min Sven are going to clear this one out. Yeah, they should be able to pretty easily. They have the Deso now on the Dawnbreaker. And uh, Kitaro almost to his BKB. He could disassemble, honestly, into it, which he might do. I wouldn't be surprised if he just sends the recipe out on the Courier. But for now, he's holding on to the uh, Echo Saber. I mean, if he hasn't done it now, then I don't think he's going to. He'll get a decent chunk of gold from Roche. Then I'll put him another 200 and his DPS will be just the same because he's still got the Echo. So, uh, Skyward's actually just rushing an AC. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. You're playing against a lot of physical damage here. Dawnbreaker, Sven, Tusk. Oh, Shackle mid lane. It manages to catch Double King here on the... Bloodseeker trying to get away. He's got a shards in one. It does not connect. The smoke screen will make enough space there for him to get out. Skyward, uh, sorry, uh, Double King escapes while Skyward pushes the bottom lane of the spider. Still doesn't quite have it. He's almost there. At that point, you can claim the outpost, and it'll feel a little bit safer down in the bottom lane. Ooh, Doom oh. throws it right onto the Dawnbreaker. I mean, B9 does a lot of damage. He's going to need to get some help here on the Dawnbreaker, and Sabas with the Snowball will Ooh. be able to provide that support as Kataro is here to help clean him up as well. And, uh, oh, nice hurricane off to the side, but Sabas with the wall punch to finish him off. Nice clean up there. Yeah, that Sunstrike connects. You find the kill. Ooh, they've got the Gale Forest. Yaren gets pushed away for the moment, but they've got... Ooh, they even get the detection onto the Invoker into the Static Storm. Can they follow this up with the Shackle? He's trying to get the angle on Slade, and he's going to grab it now. The Snowball to dodge the Blood right as well as Sabas will grab a double kill on the Tusk. They're getting kill after kill, man. And they're looking for Skyward as well. They found him in the trees here. Spend... Blink and on one. With the Blink Dagger. Yeah, he knows he can't get in range. Yeah, too far now. So he does have the BKB completed. Oh, boy. And uh, Katara going to try and finish up this tier one tower bottom. Fortification is going to come out now. Actually, teeping in Ricky as well. The sleeping dart. I mean, he has BKB and Aegis. I don't think he really cares all too much if they try and commit heavily for this. Yeah. Question. He doesn't have God strength though. So he might just BKB TP. Just... Yeah. Well, he's going to turn around and touch down the Bloodseeker. Dawnbreaker's coming. The stun connects. He needs help and fast glimpse back into it, but Kotaro just continues the chase. He doesn't find Double King. Blink up onto the high ground. The snowball will be there though, and they get Yarin as well. Three dead across the map. 
for the side of Dog Champ. They did manage to find Cat You, but Skyward's in full retreat now. Radiant does not like Dyer's bottom tower and and with the wave, to see it. I mean, they got the wave all the way up to the tier two. Skyward will be able to cut it though, so they will not grab that tower at the moment. All right, stall tactics. And Oka's making sure the mid lane is pushed in as well. As Ford Spirit's uh, actually trying to take down the tier one tower. It does. No! <laughs> Come on, you man. You know, they're, they're really trying. Something. They're really trying. That's a deny. Oh, they are not giving up anything. Oh, he got the oh, AC delivered, though. Got it. Okay, Just yeah, yeah, barely. Yeah. So we're, we're good. We're good. The AC is there. We have the extra armor. We can deal with the spend and the Dawnbreaker now. I mean, this Dawnbreaker was quite scary with that Desolator. This, sorry, I shouldn't say was. This Dawnbreaker is quite scary with the Desolator. Yeah, speaking of scary, Destroyer dead in the top lane. B9 gets the Doom out onto the spend. Um, the Hurricane him back in. Do they have the damage to finish him off, though? The BKB comes out from Double here. King. A snowball to buy some time, and Cat Yu is here to show up. The Static Storm comes out, holding down all three. Smoke. They will get the Sven, but they've got to get out of here on the rest, but they won't be able to. They get one. B9 glimpsed back in. He goes down. Oscar cleans up the Ricky, and they find Skyward on the backside, stuck inside the Kinetic Field. A four-hero snowball. The tag team damage is more than enough. They buy back on the Doom, and B9 going to regret that decision here very shortly. Well, he manages to find the kill off on the Caillou at the very least before he goes down. Uh, so they find two. That's, but that's a cope. That's, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> was a disaster. I was going to ask where your dealer was, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it, Invoker just hasn't had time to, to build any real items. He's got the Witchblade. He can do some damage to people uh, solo, but rarely are people solo. He doesn't even feel confident enough to go on this Dawnbreaker, despite the fact she doesn't have a BKB, which... Sorry, she does now have her BKB. Yeah, it was just coming on Courier. And that will be Outpost now taken as the first tier two tower is going to fall. I mean, what's the comeback mechanic here for a dog champ? How do they start winning these fights or these engagements? Because we were talking about the supports being super poor on Infamous, but now suddenly Slade and he's more farmed than the Ricky and the Doom. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. You know, the Assault Cross does help. Uh, unfortunately, Skyward wasn't able to get into the last team fight. Didn't have a TP on him. I didn't see if he was on cooldown at the beginning of the engagement, uh, but he had one coming out to him uh, partway through. The Assault helps. Um, Invoker getting a BKB definitely helps as well. And then I think it's a matter of getting Doom off onto the right target. If you can find someone on the back line before they get their spells off, which they haven't really done yet. Oh, what a play from Slade and set up onto the Brood Mother. Oscar's gonna come in, has the BKB. He's trying to avoid using it. He's just gonna have to do it now. In the center of the fight, though, is gonna be Sabas and Katara comes in with the God Strike, the BKB just crushing the backside. Double King on the run. Yarin running in fears. They find Destroyer as well, but can Katara keep his hands on any of these heroes? It's gonna be the Snowball now. The storm hammer comes through. Katara gets himself a double kill as they get Destroyer as well. Underneath the tower, it's an absolute massacre, and the GG comes out immediately. Yeah, not long after this guy in DC, uh, uh, probably the most one-sided match we saw this early so far today. I don't know, Ricky. It feels like Ricky just ain't it. I mean, I would say I told you so, but I don't know how many times I have to keep saying this. Is it still at 0% win rate? It has a 0% win rate in okay. this tournament. It has not won a game. It, it wasn't the stand-ins, okay? It wasn't the, the gameplay. It was simply the Ricky pick, all right? Uh, my boy Ricky here, he understands this hero is just not good right now. You can't make it work despite uh, despite your best efforts. Yeah, it was um, a rough one for sure. I, I, I would say there was definitely other reasons, though. Like, you don't have a, a hero that is amazing at starting fights and going in and and doing shit, so to speak. You don't have anyone who's got like a hard lockdown ability. You can kind of fight into the enemies during the, the lanes, but like, compared to the amount of cash that you have on uh, the Radiant, like Sladen can start fights, he shackles, uh, Disruptor pulls somebody back with a glimpse. Tusk just goes in by nature of the hero. He builds blinks and has stuns. Uh, meanwhile, the heroes on uh, the die, like you can just run away from them. And the one thing that kind of forces engagement, which is the Bloodseeker with Rupture, you can just snowball that off. And that's exactly what Sebastian was doing again and again.
Yeah. I think the draft was kind of disconnected, and I don't think the broodmother fits into this. The right broodmother now. doesn't fit at all. That's that's Especially what it comes now back that to. Raid me. Pact is nerfed. It, it's like this whole this whole game, like Broodmother just farmed bottom, and it's like that's it. It's all it did. It just farmed. Yeah. And then it and finally what, TP'd to a fight and died twice. And it's like... Yeah, and that's what the hero does, but it's what it did in the last patch when you wanted... Like, Wraith Pack was so important. You built a quick Wraith Pack, and then you started joining your team. Yeah. Now, it's not the case, so I think yeah. you need to change up the strategy. And you just farm. It's like... I, like, that's the thing, or it's like, I would have much rather there's been, like, a support brood mother and a core doom. Like, make this a five brood who just, like, I don't know, runs around with insatiable hunger in the lane and clicks heroes. Like, I don't, I feel like it would have been better than the, than the support Doom, at least. But I mean, he was doing that. And it was working once he was like clicking him back, two points in insatiable hunger that couldn't really fight into the, the brood anymore. It was going yeah. good. But until it wasn't. Yeah, until it wasn't. Uh, I mean, it was just they, they, they snowballed the, for no lack of a better term, they snowballed the mid lane. And of course, the uh, off lane Dawnbreaker being able to join the fights super easily, going that early Deso pickup, just amplifying all of their damage. It was sick plays all around from Infamous, and uh, they look much better, you know, than, uh, than what they did in their last series. So we'll see what happens if they can keep that momentum going. As we're going to go to our final break of the evening, and we'll be back with Infamous versus Dog Champ game number two. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 